for snack. Deep into the heart of the dodgeball Jabberwocky that is the Globo Jim Purple Cobras and walk away with $50,000. The year 2004 saw the release of the iconic sports comedy movie Dodgeball, a true underdog story. The movie followed the story of a group of misfits from Las Vegas who were about to lose their precious gym to a corporate fitness chain named Globo Gym. The underdog set their hearts on raising $50,000 to pay off their mortgage and save their dear average Joe's gymnasium. How did they do this? By entering the Las Vegas Annual Dodgeball Championship. A true underdog story saw a considerable success as it fit right into what many considered the golden era of Hollywood comedy movies. Well, it's time to dive back into the world of Dodgeball. A sequel is officially underway. In this marvelous video, let's talk about the potential release date, storyline, returning characters, and more. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Revisiting the sequel and Dodgeball 2's potential plot, Dodgeball, a true underdog story, was all about Average Joe's Gymnasium versus Globo's Gym. While the budget for this movie was merely $20 million, it surprisingly made $168 million at the box office. Visiting the prequel storyline for a bit, Peter Lafleur was the protagonist of a true underdog story. Peter Lafleur, played by Vince Vaughn, was the proprietor of Average Joe's Gymnasium in Las Vegas. As the name insinuated, Average Joe's Gym was visited mainly by, well, ordinary people who wished to give working out a try. A man named Dwight Goodman, played by Ben Stiller, was the owner of a giant corporate health fitness chain named Globo Gym. Dwight Goodman had his eye set on Average Joe since he wished to buy the property, demolish the building, and construct a parking lot in its place. Unless Peter Lafleur could raise $50,000 to pay off his mortgage, Average Joe's would fall into Goodman's hands. The employees of Average Joe's came together and brainstormed on ways they could raise the required money. Peter suggested they could compete in the Las Vegas annual dodgeball tournament. They first trained themselves using a tape from the 50s and naturally lost to a group of Girl Scouts in the qualifying round. Luckily for these misfits, they ended up winning this round as the Girl Scouts were kicked out of the competition for their steroid use. All the while, Goodman was secretly watching the Average Joe's team and put a wrench in the works as he assembled his own dodgeball team composed of the most athletic bunch. Slightly senile and wheelchair-bound patches offered Peter to train his team for the tournament. His training included, quite literally, throwing wrenches at the members in order for them to dodge them. With extensive training and lots of practice, the team reached the final round against Globo Jim's team. Sadly, the night before the match, Patches is killed by a sign that falls on him. Peter was devastated and lost all his morale, which bled into his teammates. Peter even gave up on his mission to save Average Joe and accepted Whitman's sum of $100,000 to buy the place. However, the tiebreaker, cast by Chuck Norris, allowed the Average Joe's team to play in the last round. Peter blindfolded himself and successfully dodged all of Goodman's throws. Average Joe's didn't just win the tournament, but also used Goodman's $100,000 to bet against his own team, with the odds being 50 to 1. This meant Peter won $5 million. After Peter bought a controlling interest in Globo's gym, he fired Goodman on the spot. So the first movie saw the oddballs of Average Joe's fiercely competing in a dodgeball competition to save their precious gym. Since a sequel is officially in the works, what story could it follow? Dodgeball 2 could be a revenge story with a disgraced Goodman making a return to take back everything that was snatched from him. Or it could visit an Average Joe's reunion as the team comes together to compete in the dodgeball tournament. With stakes equally as high as the first movie, Dodgeball 2 could see Peter utilizing the $5 million that he won to start his own Dodgeball Academy. And we can expect to see the children of the original characters and their participation in a competition to save something they hold dear to themselves. It would be redundant to see the sequel recreate the first movie in a way that followed a similar plot, with the same characters striving to win a dodgeball tournament. Since there's no word on what the plot might be in the sequel, we can only creatively speculate till then. Nobody's my boss! I'm my own boss! I created myself! You fired me. You can't do anything to me! The characters and actors who play them. In Dodgeball, a true underdog story, the characters were played by some genuinely iconic actors that we know today. 
For instance, the average Joe's employees included Peter LaFleur, played by Vince Vaughn, Dwight, played by Chris Williams, and Owen, portrayed by Joel David Moore. Additionally, the members of the dodgeball team were Steve the Pirate, played by Alan Tydick, Justin, played by Justin Long, and Gordon, played by Stephen Root. Their deranged coach, Patches, was played by Rip Torn. The main antagonist, White Goodman, was played by none other than Ben Stiller. Now the question remains, how many of the original cast members are willing to make a return in the sequel? We know for a fact that Chuck Norris, who made an appearance in the movie, is more than willing to show up again. He revealed at the 2023 Nashville Comic Con that he hasn't gotten a call about the sequel yet, but it would be fun to make a return appearance. In 2022, Vince Vaughn revealed to Hollywood Reporter that he had a fun idea for a sequel. So far, only Vince is tied to make a confirmed return in the sequel. Justin Long is also on board for the sequel, but he spoke about Ben Stiller's hesitation regarding the sequel. He might come on board, depending on what the plot is for the Dodgeball 2. As we mentioned, following a plot too similar to the first one seems lazy and overdone. Fans already got a sweet little reunion in 2017 in the form of a charity drive for the Stiller Foundation. We could see Ben Stiller and Vince Vaughn buttheads on a dodgeball court yet again. Sadly, Rip Torn, who played Coach Patches, passed away in 2019, leaving that role empty. When will the awaited sequel be released? The sequel, Dodgeball 2, was underway in 2013. It's said that Ben Stiller's production company hired a tentative writer to jot down a script for a sequel, though this didn't lead anywhere. There are sources claiming that the official production for the sequel movie has begun. The original film, Dodgeball, A True Underdog Story, was first released in 2004, and now, exactly 20 years after the prequel, there are talks of the sequel. The writer who wrote The Binge, Jordan Van Dyna, will write the script for Dodgeball 2. Writer and director of the original film, Ross and Marshall Thurber, did say, never say never to a sequel. The potential release date is likely late 2024 or early 2025. The release of the sequel on the original film's 20th anniversary would be awesome. You call that a sit-up? Don't slack, Trevor. I'm watching you. There's a good energy in the gym. The causes of delay and controversies. If the sequel has been in the works since 2013, why has the movie yet to be released? The writer's strike that happened in May 2023 could be one reason. There are also a few cast members who feel unsure about the making of the sequel. Mainly, Ben Stiller thinks that some movies should be left as they are. Dodgeball is a movie loved and cherished by fans. It's tricky to recreate something that would be as well-received as the prequel. In his own words, as Stiller claimed, it's very risky. You don't want to shit on the original. You want something just as good. His trepidation is more than understandable since a living example is his own movie Zoolander 2. The original Zoolander is considered a cult classic, but its sequel was very poorly received. These are consequences Stiller still presumably has to deal with. He touched a movie that was best left alone and tarnished its legacy. While a sequel movie sounds like an exciting idea, it can be challenging. Dodgeball, a true underdog story, fits perfectly in the comedic climate of cinema at that time. The same type of humor could potentially fall flat with today's audiences. The director of the original film also teased the possibility of a Dodgeball TV series, which might work. There's mixed consensus about the increasing number of TV shows that are being put out on streaming services. While they appease our dwindling attention spans and rake in profits for various OTT streaming services, some also take away the essence of good entertainment. It remains a debate for another day about how entertainment such as this is, turning into quantity over quality. <laughs> Marvelous Verdict this is all we know of Dodgeball 2's potential release dates, storylines, confirmed actors, and controversies. Admittedly, the first movie did massively well, but is it best left alone? Or for the sake of making more money, there might be a sequel? That decision lies in the hands of the filmmakers. As fans of the original movie, we can only hope it holds up the capacity to live up to its predecessor. The success of the sequel relies on the cast members deciding to return, a fresh storyline, and a style of comedy relevant to this decade. A Steve the Pirate spin-off prequel could be a good idea. While some fans ask, should there even be a sequel? 
And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.